from the producers of basically every fantasy game, final or otherwise, <laughs> comes one of the forgotten classics of gaming history that you finally get to play without accidentally downloading soul-scarring pornography. Trials of Mana. Relive the heady days of your nerdling youth as Square finally releases the sequel to the beloved Secret of Mana for the first time in America. Legally, that is. But since they're perfectly aware that if you give a shit about this game, you've already played it on an emulator. They've slapped on a bunch of brand new models, animations, and mechanics for the modern era. If that modern era was 2005. Aw, oh, look, they even have a terrible English dub! But the Crimson Wizard might be as powerful as Her Majesty the Queen now. Fortunes? Why would I trust my fate to something like that? Carl! How did this happen? Dive into the many practically identical storylines of Trials of Mana as you pick from a bevy of heroes to save the world from the encroaching evils of fantasy darkness. Then, gather your party of three, each with their own backstories and motivations, ranging from reclaiming their kingdoms to saving loved ones to getting revenge for their dog, which would have sounded a lot more ridiculous if there wasn't a whole movie franchise about it. Then, watch as your heroes retake the elements and find the ultimate MacGuffin to restore peace once again. In a by-the-book story of light versus dark, where the biggest actual choice you're making is the characters you pick at the start. Just make sure to avoid the healer character who talks like this. I may be as small as you are, but I happen to be 15 years old, so I'm basically an adult. That's it! I'm going back to the fan rom! Swing into the new and slightly improved action RPG battle system that retains most of the original mechanics, where you'll relentlessly attack with simple combos and mow through the hapless adorable forest creatures with ease, until you encounter a boss and your normal attacks do as much damage as a wet napkin, forcing you to actually pay attention as you desperately fill out your special move gauge to do some actual damage. All while dodging extremely obvious telegraphs, spamming items, and switching characters to use their special moves when you remember they exist. In boss fights that are definitely more engaging than the 20 minutes of waiting for animations to play out in the original. Uh, can we watch something else while this finishes up? Aw, oh, come on! Explore the overworld of trials as you traverse kingdoms filled with majestic hallways, each with their own special gimmick that will eventually lead to a barrier that will make you backtrack through the whole level to wind up back where you started, over and over again. In exploration, that is the definition of linear if you're not obsessively looking for every chest or shiny thing to pick up. But it still has its perks here and there. <laughs> Look, it might be simple, but watching your characters eat shit every time they reach a new continent is fantastic. <laughs> it's funny every time! <laughs> so get ready to wield that mana sword and slap on that Winamp anime skin for a remake that gives you the essence of the original in a shinier coat. In a direct philosophical counterpoint to what they're doing with FF7, and before you say anything, no, they're not going to do this for Mother 3. I'm pretty sure that's as likely as world peace at this point. Starring... Duran Duran. Valkyrie Profile. Double Double It's and Trouble. Oh, whoa, what's this? Lord of the Dance. The original Dog Wick. Navi gonna give you up. And Lil Zan. Translations of Mana. You know what they really got right? The shopkeepers over the top moshing? It's just not a mana game if the shopkeepers don't flail around like they're covered in army ants. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Brute ships, staggered lines, shipmaster, they outnumber us three to one. 
I love the sexy slither of a lady snake. Oh, baby. You sly dog, you got me monologuing. So, as I pray, unlimited blade works.